Layout Pro was developed for contractors, virtually any type of contractor that needs to lay out points and lines easily, precisely, and quickly. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to use AutoCAD files, DXF and DWG files, inside Layout Pro field. Many times, the contractor will choose to manually input the plan, and he can do that here through the input plan. And we've shown how to do that. This other technique goes into the data center and says, import DXF DWG. I'm going to import this demo 107 file that I've prepared inside Layout Pro Office, where I could eliminate all of the unnecessary layers. And the most important thing probably about using an AutoCAD file is this scale screen that I show in front of you. Make sure this is right. It's pretty easy to tell when you're wrong. You'll be off by a factor of 12 generally. Um, and we'll leave it at one to one for now and assume that the drafter is matching what we're doing in the field. So we've imported that file. Now we can make points from there. So we go into plan and you notice before create points from DXF was grayed out. Now it's available and we can come in here and here's our plan. So let me zoom in a little bit, make it a little bit easier to click, right? So this first icon down in the lower left is for arcs, right? So I can click on an arc, and it will give me the radius point, and I can store that point. I can give it a point number if I want. I can, I've can. i already told the program to ignore elevation. Most contractors using this program <laughs> use a laser uh, for their leveling stuff. Okay, we now have point number one defined. This next one, offsets. So we can create a parallel offset from a line says up here to tap a line, so I tap the line. Up here, I can make the line go in either direction, right? I can say next, and it says point interval. So how often do I want the, the system to create a point? Let's say that I want the point to be created every three feet, and I want it to be at a two-foot offset. Okay, if I wanted it to go on the other side, I would use a minus sign, right? So it's going to use the parent layer. It's going to start the numbering at two. Voila, I've got points made along that line offset two feet to the right. Um, this next button finds the center of a line. Right? So let me come up here where I can see a whole line. Click on that. Click on a line. Click on a line. It says next. Number of segments. It, it finds the center of that line. Hit next. This is the next available point numbers. This next one just defines the ends of a line, right? So if I click on a line right here, it's got those two points. Click next, click OK. Those two points are stored and the distance is displayed between them because I've got the system set up to do that. And then finally, intersections, right? So we can find where two lines come together. Let's say this line here and this line here. Next. Okay. And there we go. So there are two more icons here. This one with the red hand, right? And it allows me to click on a line. And wherever I click on that line, it's going to insert the point. I thought. There we go. And then if I wanted to get rid of that point, I would click on this one right there, and it would get rid of all of my temporary points. And that concludes this video presentation on using DXF and DWG files inside Layout Pro field. Thank you.